What is up guys and welcome to part 11 of Netherlands. Uh, yeah, just, just get straight out of the way. Last time where we left off there was a war between France and Austria by the looks of it. Although Medena, oddly enough, is the actual war leader of that one. I haven't noticed that until just now actually, which is very strange. Um, but where we're concerned with is obviously with Asia, our infamy is incredibly high. So a lot of it is just going to be building up our nation. We've we've done really well. Um, we probably will be coming to the end of this fairly soon because we haven't got many years left. And ultimately, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be looking for nations that I can play because I, I don't know who else to play. I'm able to and eligible and happy to play literally anyone. I feel as though depending on if, if I mean, if the UK was suggested that's a bit overpowered, they're a bit too strong. Um, same, but you know, I mean, whatever, if that's what people want to watch, that's what people want to watch. Let's just get underway. So, in this final few years, I mean, if I say final few years, it does got think, to 26, but I mean, that's, at the rate we're going, we're flying, so it's going to go fast. But I mean, whatever, that's, that's fine by me. How is our factories? Excellent, we'll improve them again. Cement, we make a lot of artillery, we're good. Explosives, we're high in as well. Third and that. First. Not on. I mean, it could be better, it could be, it could be worse, so I'm not too fast. Fuel, no one's making fuel. Oil, anyone found oil yet? No. Fertilizer, we are fourth in fertilizer. In clippers, we don't build it. Steam convoys, we are second, which is really good. Steel, we are not on the thing at all, which, I mean, doesn't surprise me, really. Um, produce a lot of dyes. Number one in silk. Don't produce rubber. Third in that, which is bad. Explosives. We are number one in explosives in the world. We're making a lot of money, like... A lot of, it says we're losing so much money, but I mean that that definitely says otherwise. Okay, so we'll put that back down to 50%. It's so gonna make even more money. Text done. Can we let's get machine guns? What about that mil tech? So we get 15 mil tech. Our industrial tech's really good. We've got advanced metal energy, so all of our sort of deposits are pretty good. So that's 40. Brussels will be high, yeah. Fiji could become a protectorate, which is nice, excellent. Dutch Fiji, something that I don't think anyone saw happening. Still can't reach his star. I don't understand why we can't. It makes very little sense to me because we have. Oh, that hasn't built yet, that's why. Um, build more soldiers. Easy days. Build actually build some in Africa as well, which is also quite nice. So we'll be doing Libreville, I think that is. I'm not 100. Maybe it is. Four, four, and then there you go. They should build machine gun. We're all researching stuff incredibly fast. What is it we need? To oh, so we can actually take this now. So naval tech, commerce, and industrial doesn't change. Culture. I mean, in a way, I feel like that is actually better. But I'm not 100% sure. I think that's better. That's commerce and naval. And it doesn't impact industry, but commerce... I mean, yeah, we'll just go that because we're lacking behind in commerce. So, okay. Can we get, if we get these in the sphere, we might be able to build that. Ottomans, let's try and get in the spheres. Let's sphere game a little bit. After this, we're going to properly go into commerce, I think, because, I mean, if we've just taken it, why not, right? Should make, I mean, that makes sense to me, at least. 
get him back up, which is accidental. It wasn't accidental, I did it, but then I suppose when I actually properly looked at what I did, I probably shouldn't have done it, to be honest. But, so we're getting contested by the United States and France in Ottomans and in Colombia, which is, I mean, it's, you know, wasn't, it's all to be expected. So France is doing poorly in this war, surprisingly, but then I guess it's just pure stack numbers, and they're invested in the French, uh, Spanish a lot, so... It depends on how that one goes for them. So we'll improve relations with the Ottomans, but then I can imagine France will probably try and block me at some point. It's usually what they do, they let you get to a certain point and then they just essentially cut you off. France is out of that war. I don't believe anything actually changed. I mean, I've, re I've only actually just noticed Bohemia has changed. That's probably been like that for a quite a while, but I mean, that's impressive. North German communists. So they've gone from bourgeoisie dictatorship to communists. That's yikes. Just keep on improving our energy. It's all we can do, really. I mean, we've got nothing here apart from like our cement factory makes a lot of money. But everything makes money here and there. We just keep on building it up, that's all we can do, that's all we're going to do, really. There you go, the, the French have now banned us from the Ottomans, which makes sense. It was obvious that they were going to do that, I was never under any under illusions that it was going to go the other way. So we have 158 ships, we don't have as much as the UK, we have more than France, we have more than Germany, so I'll take it. Let's get that, because that technically is going to be done, that activation year of 1836, so we're very far behind on that one. But, whether or not... We'll sit behind that for a while is, is unknown. So soldiers are starting to increase. We're starting to get a lot of soldiers taking China. So down here, they're just going in, which is good. 27. Where's our transport fleet? And that's not it. What's that one? Okay, that is the transport fleet right there. I think I may have built one too many units, you know. 9% Austria, yeah, we'll take the Alliance. We're in a position where we can fight now, so sure, that works for me. Let's improve the forts here. Get another election, the Conservatives will win, they always do. I'll be very su surprised. What, what's going on here? Or have I... I'm very confused. Hello? But you get back on the boat. You go one there. Were these meant to be going to the... Did I leave? And these were meant to be going... To Europe or something? Maybe? I am very confused. I recorded the, uh, the part 10, what, three days ago? I know it got uploaded, it got uploaded like today, so there's a timestamp for you all. Um, but I didn't exactly realize that was the case, that it was that, f like I've, I've forgotten basic things like that. That's not ideal. <laughs> Get that, so improve that to the, oh. So Krakatoa exploded. So that is Bogor, which is so it's currently sitting at two hundred and fifty four thousand fifty thousand people. Wow. That is uh devastating <laughs> frankly. I would quite like oil to start occurring, but I mean I accept that it's not going to. How much is 10? So we're going to go down to 14. And then we can do it. Yeah, we're interested in this crisis. It's a crisis over Greece because what else is over? What's everyone joining? So the Russians are supporting Greece. France is supporting the Ottomans. Austria is back the Austria is back the French. Britain is gonna back France. The Swi Switzerland is a great power. Is gonna back France. So I probably will end up backing France. 
purely because I have no intention, and I mean no intention, to fight a war with them just yet. I mean, our, fl our armies are better than they were, but I mean, they're still not amazing. Okay, that is the right number there. So that is 30, that is several armies, all of 30,000, which is perfect. Right, that has, that is it for the, uh, part 11. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you all, hopefully, in the next one. Bye-bye.